This video is going to cover how to connect an Alibi Witness Recorder to the mobile app using the P2P option. The first thing you want to do when setting up the Alibi P2P option is to make sure that the LAN port of your DVR is connected to an internet provider's router. Once you have it connected to a router, you want to go to the local interface of the unit, right click on the screen, and go to hit the menu button on the top left hand side. In the menu, you want to go to configuration. On the left hand side, you want to go to network. And in this screen, you want to verify that the unit did pull an IP address from the router. As you can see here, my unit did pull an IP address from my router. If you do not have an address here, you want to make sure that the enable DHCP option is checked so it will pull an address from the router. One other step we need to take here in the network configuration is we need to put in a DNS option for our network. We'll go ahead and uncheck the enable obtain DNS automatically and put in the Google DNS of 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And for the alternate, we're going to do 8.8.4.4. .4. Once those are set, you want to hit the apply button on the bottom. And now that is saved. From this point, you want to go to the left hand side under network and go to the advanced option. Across the top, we want to go to platform access. Access type is going to be Alibi Connect. You want to go ahead and check the enable option. And that's going to bring up a service terms and it's going to ask you to create a verification code. So for this demo, we're going to use one, two, three, four, five, six. You can use any code you would like. Just make sure to write this code down. All right. So once I've created the verification code, I want to go ahead and agree to the terms of service and then hit the OK option on the bottom. Once I've done all that, it's going to bring you to back to the platform access page. You want to hit the apply button on the bottom and see the status went to online. So the status here is gonna be the most important option here. And before we go to the mobile app, we wanna make sure that the status of the platform access is online. At this point, you wanna to go to your mobile phone, open the Play Store or the App Store and search Alibi Witness 3.0. Once you see that loaded here, you wanna go ahead and install that application on the mobile phone. Go ahead and hit the open option when that is loaded or launch. Go ahead and allow the permissions that it asks. Go ahead and select a region here. We're going to hit USA. Hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and hit the login option. As a new user, we're going to go ahead and hit the register option on the bottom left here. We're going to agree to the terms of service. Once you get to the registration option here, you want to enter an email address. So here I'm going to enter my test email address that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and hit get security code and that's going to send a security code to my email inbox. I go ahead and check my email to verify that code has come through. All right. So the code has come through and my code is 7284. Keep in mind that you will have a custom code per email address that you register. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the next option here. It's going to ask me to create a password for my Alibi Connect account. And now I am logged into my Alibi Connect account via my mobile app. The next thing we need to do here is hit the add device option. The mobile app is asking to access the camera so we can scan the QR code. So we'll hit allow. Then we'll hit allow down here as well. Hit OK. It did scan that QR code. It did find my recorder. I'm going to go ahead and hit the add option. Add and complete. If we hit the next here, we can give this a custom name. And then we're going to hit the save option here. And now that unit is added to my mobile app. So if I tap on the device, it will bring up the cameras and it is online. And this concludes setting up the mobile app using the Alibi Witness P2P option.